left to right is Brian Nash, Market Smart, and Markel Brown. So, Brian, fire away with any questions you may have. Markel, you said before that a win against Kansas might punch up against the NCAA. <coughs> Something that's true? Yeah. <laughs> but we got Monday, and it's another big win. And we definitely need it. This home court, uh, it can put us in there uh, definitely. But tonight was a, a big win for this team. Moving forward, uh, our heads are high in the locker room. Uh, we're looking forward to senior night, some of our last games in Gallagher Opera, and getting to the NCAA tournament. Marcus, uh, a lot of guys see Embiid around the basket, and they kind of change their plans. You uh, I mean, first of all, I can understand why guys, you know, Embiid's an uh, unbelievable shot blocker. And, you know, <clears throat> that's what he does. And he's great at it. But I was always taught, you know, you got to attack the shot blocker. You know, you got to attack his body, you know, uh, and chop him down a little bit. Take his legs from under him. And uh, he becomes a little bit shorter. And that's kind of what I did tonight. Our focus, you know, losing those uh, seven games straight, you know, it opened our eyes to a lot of things, you know, and it, and it was majority not closing out a lot of those games. And, you know, we were extra focused tonight. You know, we knew if it came down to it, down the stretch, we were going to have to close out this game, especially if we wanted to win. And, uh, you know, I got two of the best, you know, guards in the league, uh, in, the, in the league, in the country. Um, and they helped me on both ends, offensive and defensive. You scored one point in the first half. Couldn't hit your shots uh I mean my teammates you know they 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 stayed in my ear you know keep shooting keep driving do what you do you know uh let your defense create your offense and that's kind of what I did I, I think I had four steals you know so you know I was active off the ball on the ball and I just kind of let my game come to me in the second half Uh, it's just our offense. Um, our offense go through us three. You know, we three big time scores, and we just like making plays. You know, and, and the thing about it that we all good passers also. So we just try to make plays for our teammates, get them going, keep them in the game, and you know, shots gonna come to us. So we just try to get our teammates going so they can stay in the game with us. Markel, this is a team that at times has struggled when things started going the wrong way. Can you talk about you know being down ten, but then still being able to come back and stay positive? Uh, it's a team that never gives up. Even if we're down 20, we're going to always fight. We're going to always have each other back. We're going to always go out there and give it our all. And uh, tonight, we were clicking on all cylinders, uh, passing the ball well, sharing the ball, getting LB in his spots, Marcus attacking the rim, uh, getting to the rim first, and then making the outside shot. I mean, that's that's what we are capable of doing every night. and. We was just poised out there on the court, and, and we took advantage of the opportunities that are the mistakes that Kansas made. Michael, if Kansas does have a weakness, is it that you can get them to make mistakes? You can get them to turn the ball over? Uh, it's a very, very good team, but we just went out there and we, we pressured them. Uh, we pressured them cowboy style. How have we done early in the season? Uh, we, we got them in our press. And, and they kind of uh, looked at it weird and started making turnovers. So we just, we just went out there and pressured them on, on, off, on the defensive end, and we, we let our defense create offense. Marcel, you got a, a drive from your hands out there. Was the upper crowd surf before, and what was it like tonight? I have before uh, <laughs> my sophomore year versus Missouri uh, when, we, when, we, when they, we got the upset uh, here. And... I think this time was better. Uh, it's my second to last game. Uh, packed house out there, knocking down number five Kansas. It's always great beating Kansas. Uh, and, and the crowd surf over that many people, it was it was a blessing. I, I liked it. You know, it's good to have fans like that. You know, come out and support us. You know, hopefully we can get Monday another sellout crowd.
and show you that we need our fans. You know, our fans gave us a boost today and helped us out a lot. And, you know, that's what we need. We need help from everywhere, you know. We need help from everybody. So, because we, uh, we need to make a run, you know. We need, we need to make a run. We got Kansas State coming up next, and we need to worry about them right now. Weren't you ejected in 2010? Yeah, I was. You just came back out? I came episode. back out. I came back out. Did you really? Yeah, I was, I was ejected. I set out last seven minutes, I think. And I was nervous in the locker room the whole time. I'm, I'm sitting back in the locker room like, Coach Ford, man, he going to get me. He going to get me. But we was able to pull it off. Uh, and I snuck back out there. I don't, I don't know if I was supposed to or not, but I, I came back out to celebrate my team and the fans. No sneaking this time. No sneaking this time. No sneaking. I'm a senior now, poised. Yeah. Got my head on my shoulders. Like approach Monday, Mark, that'll be in the last home game. Uh, like every other game. Uh, I approach it like it was the first game that I ever played here. Just go out there and play hard, play for my teammates, play for this program. We just go out there and play for one another. I mean, this might be Marcus' last game, Mason Cox' last game. I want it for him too. I mean, he helped us out a lot in practice. Uh, it's a hard-working kid, man. We we picked him up just walking around campus, and he came in and gave us a lot. And I I really appreciate what Mason Cox done for this program. Marcus, you guys both had seven-game losing streak a week ago, but is this uh, I mean, I guess you can say that, you know, we definitely broke it la uh, last week. <clears throat> uh, but this was, you know, it was sweeter this time just because, you know, like uh, Markel said, it's always good to beat Kansas and they ranked number five. So, you know, it, it, was, it was a good win for our basketball program. Marcus, we all take things for granted sometimes. You had this game taken away from you. Did you get some perspective being away from it where now you're back in it and you get to maybe enjoy it? But also, maybe you have some gains on the court as well? Uh, definitely. You know, <clears throat> we always take something for granted. Some of us take life for granted. It's, just, it's our human nature to take things for granted. And you never really fully understand how much, uh, how good you have it until it's gone. And, you know, this game was taken away from me for the three games. Um, you know, I got to sit out and, you know, suffer uh, the raft of other teams and how they were playing against my team. And I wasn't able to out there to, to help them. So, you know, I definitely am, you know, I'm a, it's a blessing to be back and it's a blessing to play this game. Anything else for the guys? What, what did you think of seeing, you know, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, all those guys sitting right there watching? Did you guys notice them or what was that like? Oh, yeah, we noticed them. You know, it's kind of hard to miss them. You know, uh, especially Kevin Durant, he's 6'10". You know, it's kind of hard to miss that, that guy. But, <clears throat> you know, that was very exciting. Uh, not just for this team, but, you know, for this crowd, you know, uh, they come to sell out and, you know, they got to have fun. You know, they, they interacted with those guys. And not only that, you know, they gave us a boost. And those guys sitting over there, Kevin Durant, Russell and all them gave us a boost also because, you know, we, we wanted to go out there and perform. Uh, and for those guys, you know, taking the time out of their day to come out and watch us. That was Kevin Durant's second game here. And, and we beat him the first time he was here versus Memphis. Maybe we need to get him back Monday. Can y'all work on that for us? <laughs> I'll be listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Thank you. Thank you, guys.